Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 684 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Visa has announced Universal Payment Channel, a project to interconnect blockchains. Big's Net Coins has been registered in several Canadian provinces, and DigiNex's shareholders have voted to change the company's corporate name to Equinox Limited. But just before we get into today's show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. Visa, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker symbol V, has announced a new project called Universal Payment Channel, or UPC, which is intended to be a hub that interconnects multiple blockchain networks, including cryptocurrencies, stablecoins, and central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, to enable a secure transfer of digital currencies. An excerpt reads, quote, As the number of digital currency networks increases, each with unique design characteristics, the likelihood that consumers, businesses, and merchants are transacting on the same network and utilizing the same type of money decreases. We believe that for CBDCs to be successful, they must have two essential ingredients, a great consumer experience and widespread merchant acceptance. It means the ability to make and receive payments, regardless of currency, channel, or form factor, and that's where Visa's UPC concept comes in. End quote. Netcoins, the wholly owned online crypto brokerage subsidiary of Big Digital Assets, which trades on the CSE as BIGG, has been registered as a restricted dealer in the Canadian provinces of British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. According to the press release, this will provide a distinct early mover advantage as the industry continues to mature and evolve into a regulated framework. Mark Binns, the CEO of Big Digital Assets, said, quote, This registration will enable NetCoins to expand advertising to channels not available to unlicensed competitors, expand coin offerings, open up new partnerships, and will attract retail and institutional customers seeking a licensed and regulated trading platform. We also believe a regulation will shrink the competitive playing field in Canada as non-compliant companies are forced out of the market. We look forward to updating shareholders with more news in the coming weeks. End quote. Finally, Diginex Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol EQOS, has announced that its shareholders voted in favor of changing its corporate name to Equinex Limited. According to the press release, Equinex Limited comprises Equinex, a crypto spot and derivatives exchange, DigiVault, a UK FCA registered crypto custodian, Bletchley Park, an asset manager, Equinex Investment Products, a forthcoming investment products business, Equinex Lending, a crypto borrowing and lending platform, Access Trading, a multi-venue trading platform, and Equinex Capital, which offers crypto securitization services. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available.